Welcome back to Little Blessed Nest. My name is Stephanie. Today we are tackling a DIY project that I've been wanting to work on for a while. So let me show you what we're going to be doing. A while back I did a pantry kind of makeover video where I added this wire shelving unit that you see behind me and it still works great but the pantry is still a mess. So I've come up with another solution and i hope it's gonna work let me explain to you what it is this is what's going on in the pantry you can see like this random squash up here but um things are just look yeah this one's the worst just i just have to stack things on top of things and it's hard to find anything so i really need a better organizational system this is what the shelving unit is looking like i'm going to build hopefully a rolling pantry you may have seen them on Pinterest it's gonna be six inches wide and then it's gonna have um, five to six shelves I'm not sure yet most likely five and it'll be the height of the fridge so let me show you what I'm talking about so it's gonna be the width from here all the way back to here and I just knocked Timmy's hats off so I'll have to take all this stuff off the side of the fridge by the way this works really good to hold his things his cane and his hats gloves things like that um, I got this here at Hobby Lobby I've already cut the wood for the um, frame of it I haven't cut the shelves yet so I picked up these casters at Lowe's they come two in a pack I think they were under six dollars I'm pretty sure for two of them um, and a pack and I got two packs because I'm gonna put four wheels on it so I purchased one by six boards in this in six feet they were a six foot board and I just put it up beside my refrigerator of course it was you know six foot so it's up here and I came on this side of it and I traced it along the edge here and then I measured the caster underneath my line of where I'd drawn because I knew this was gonna raise it up off the ground higher and I want the board to be level with my fridge when I'm finished with it. I knew I had to deduct the height of the caster uh, and I also needed to figure in um, the height of the board that's gonna go on top of this to make the top of the pantry. So I measured this and made a line and then I took another inch off for the height of the other board and then I made me a line across and I cut it to this length here. So I knew I needed two boards this height for both sides so I went ahead and cut two boards the exact same size and then for the bottom I took another six foot board and I laid it down here beside the fridge and then I just went and marked where the fridge ended and made a line across the board and cut it there and I knew I needed two boards this size one for the bottom and one for the top so I cut two the exact same I'm hoping when I nail all this together it's gonna come up to the height of the fridge that was probably clear as mud <laughs> I'm not great at describing things but um, that's how I did it in case you want to make your own there's probably better ways to do it but that's how I that's how I did it we'll see how it turns out I don't know if you can picture it yet or not but it's really gonna be nice I think I'm hoping and I'm still deciding on what to put on the back the side that's gonna face the door here I thought about shiplap I thought about beadboard um I think I'm probably gonna go with the beadboard <clears throat> Bonnie has the kitty stolen your basket I'm gonna have to get him his own basket, aren't I? Did you find a comfy spot? Hmm? <laughs> Falling over, guys. All right, so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, put the casters on the bottom board. That way I will know exactly how high it is when I go to put the other board on. If it's too long, I could go ahead and cut it before I attach them all together, if that makes sense. Um, these are the wheels that I got. I 
All right, so let's get these attached. Um, I put this other board underneath here just, just so that if it were to go through or something, it's not gonna go through to my floor, which it shouldn't, but you know. So I'm gonna use this like kind of as a guide of where I wanna put them. I don't know if they should go this way or this way. So I didn't even notice that the wheels did not come with screws. So I went and looked through my dad's building and I found some. The only ones that are not too long are these. I'm kind of afraid the top's gonna stick up a little too much, but I'm gonna give it a try and see. As long as the wheel will still spin, it'll be fine. I think I didn't know if I had it right up against the edge if it would make the wood split so I did go in just a little bit and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side Okay, so far I've basically made a skateboard. <laughs> All right, so now I have to attach the sides. Oh, I'm gonna set it on the floor and put the wood on it and see if it's about the right height. You guys, I'm telling you, I had the hardest time at Lowe's yesterday finding boards that weren't cracked, that didn't have holes in them, and that weren't warped. They were just terrible. I went through, I mean, stacks and stacks of wood. And these boards still are not perfect by any means. Um, I just looked at the board that I cut to go on the top of my rolling pantry here. And it's bowed. Um, I'm thinking about recutting another board. I don't know. They're just, even this one is not straight. Can you see the... And this was like the best of the best. You can't really tell here, but it has a little bit of a, just a little bit of a, of a bow in it. And this is my side shelf and it's on the inside. So I wonder if I just, I don't know. We're just gonna go with it and hope that it turns out okay. The back side feels fairly flat. I don't know. Is that possible for the back to be flat? Gosh. I do not know if I should go ahead and use this or not. Would it be better to use it for shelves? Are there any other ones that are even? Let's see, I've already cut this one. Stay tuned. There's always problems. I don't even have to deal with unlevel walls or unlevel windows on this project. Now it's just the wood. <laughs> Can I get a break on a DIY, y'all? Okay, so I have one side on. Okay, so I got this side here screwed on. Now I gotta do the other side. Okay, so I have the bottom there. And now I just have to attach the top. Okay. We have a frame, guys. Check it out. Just gotta put the shelf on. Now I gotta figure out how wide the shelves need to be. I measured the inside of the frame to get the measurement that I needed to cut my boards for my shelves. I'm trying to figure out how far apart I want them. I don't think I'm gonna put them exactly the same all the way down. I want the shelves on the bottom to be a little bit higher um, just so that I can put bigger items down there, maybe cereal boxes or, you know, just whatever. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna, I put the first board in here and I'm sure that it's level before I nail it in or screw it in. Check it out, y'all. This is gonna work perfect. 
And then I want to put like a one by two in here to help hold everything in so nothing falls off. I've got these, this sticker here on this wood here, and I'm going to use this Goo Gone and put it on here and try to get the sticker and the residue off of here. can't make up my mind do I want to paint it do I want to stain it I had several people recommend staining it um, do I want to leave it completely open or do I want to put a back on the on one side of it and if I do put a back on one side of it do I want to do beadboard do I want to do shiplap do I want to do what do I want to do I don't know <laughs> making decisions is so hard for me um, but I'm going to show you one way that it could be used that I think is cute. You could put it against your fridge like this um, and not put a back on it. Or you could put it against a fridge and put a back on it. Um, so the back would be that side in this case. And you could put pretty jars with your dry goods on it and store them here and leave it exposed to see. And I think that's cute. Um, these are Pioneer Woman jars that I got a long time ago. Um, I think they're really pretty. They got a pretty, like, design on them. Or you could use, like, these kinds of jars that I got, um, from thrift stores. Mainly Goodwill. These are, like, older jars. Um, got this one. So you could do that. I think it would be pretty like that if I stained it. Or you can just do it the way that I intended and store all the canned goods on it. So I'm going to go out here and stain this piece and hopefully it'll look good. Are you my number one fan? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you watch all my YouTube videos? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Riding your four-wheeler? Uh-huh. we got to get this thing sanded so I can stain it. Uh -huh. And all the rough edges down. Mm -hmm. I'm using the same special walnut stain that I used on my kitchen window. First of all, I went around and sanded all the rough edges, any spots that weren't completely smooth. I always apply the stain with just an old rag. Some people prefer to use a foam brush. Some people use a regular brush, but this way just works easiest for me. Okay, so I got it stained and now I'm gonna seal it with some polycrylic. And once it dries, I'll bring it back in. It's super windy today, so hopefully it'll dry pretty quickly and the sun's shining. So I can't wait to get the stuff on it. You guys can help me to decide I'm trying to decide if I want to put it on the side of my fridge that faces um, the back door or on the other side like 
at the end of my countertop. I can put it here at the end of my fridge. The thing is, is because it's so narrow, like I'm afraid that it could tip after I get everything on it. Um, I worry about it, the kids maybe pulling on it and maybe it tipping. So I would have to figure out a way, some sort of hook or something that I could attach to the fridge and then hook, you know, maybe the shelf to it that I could just unhook if I need to pull it out. Um, that way it's more secure and it's not going to tip over. But then if I put it over here where I had it earlier, then it's not, you know, there's no danger of it tipping over. I did want to show you guys this. Oh, it aggravates me so. You know, you saw me that I scrubbed it. I sanded it. It didn't feel sticky or anything at all. Um, now it feels sticky. I guess where the stain was on it. Lesson learned. You know, every project I do, I'm learning a little something new. Um... And I just wasn't paying attention because the boards were, had so much issue with the boards being bowed and, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I checked them really good at the store. I went through so many boards. But when I got them home and was putting them together, they would be just a little bowed in the middle. And, um you know, caused me a lot of trouble with this piece. So I wasn't paying attention when I put it together that the, the labels were on the outside. So that's something that I will be sure to check from now on to make sure that the stickers are facing inward where you're not gonna see them much. And even if possible, um, look for ones where the stickers are maybe near the bottom where I can, like if I have to trim the wood, I can actually cut them off. Because I mean, I used Goo Gone, I cleaned it with soap and water, I sanded it, I did everything that I knew to do. If you guys know some other solution, please let me know. But it's on both sides. Um, now this side isn't quite as bad. And it's not something that's gonna like drive me crazy or anything. So, it just is what it is. Had I have painted it, I don't think you would have noticed it. I think it's beautiful stained. I love it. I just love this special walnut color. Like it is my color. I wish that my hutch was closer to this color. My hutch has a very orange tone to it. I don't really want to mess with it because I'm afraid I'll mess it up and I love it. So I don't want to damage it and I don't want to really mess with it because that's how it originally was. You know, it's just, I don't know. I wish I could take the color down a notch. I had mentioned that I saw Andrea from Pine and Prospect Home. She she stripped it and then she sanded it down because some of it she couldn't get she couldn't strip strip for whatever reason. But she got it down in a natural wood color and it is so pretty. I love it. But I'm too afraid to mess with mine. At least at this point, I don't know. Anyway, I'm definitely not going to paint it. I want it to be a natural wood. If I ever did anything to it, I would be stripping it and sanding it down to a natural wood color but for now i'm gonna leave it like it is i've got all my cans sitting here on the counter i know one of the comments i got repeatedly on my last pantry makeover video was that i needed to group all of my like canned items together so i'm gonna make sure to do that this time
my next project is going to be also in my pantry and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shelves down that are in there now and I'm going to put up new shelves and I'm going to stain those so they'll be nice and pretty and they're actually going to be deeper shelves so I'll have more space in there and I'm going to add and I'm also going to add a shelf to put my microwave on so I'll show you the boards that I got I picked these up these are 16 inches um wide so I'm going to stain these and I'm going to have four shelves in there. These were um, $8 and some change. They were just under $9 each. And um, so I'm going to take these shelves down and put the new ones in there and then put another one down here to put my microwave. I'm going to put my microwave on this one. I've got an outlet right here. Yes, I still don't have a cover. I keep forgetting to buy one. Um, so... And this stuff is just sitting here because I've been messing around trying to figure out how to organize the stuff. Um, but like I said, these are these shelves are 12 inches wide, so it's going to come out another four inches, um, and I think that'll give me more space to store things, more room for my microwave. So that's going to be good. So that will be in next Sunday's video. Um, the pantry makeover in here and. I'm also going to paint this door finally. Um, I'll be painting it the same color as my wall back here. That is accessible beige. In my video when I made this wall, when I put the board and batten up, I called it agreeable beige. And I had somebody um, comment and say, are you sure it's not accessible beige? Because I can't find agreeable beige anywhere on Sherwin-Williams. And sure enough, it was accessible beige. I think I had that in my head because my bedroom used to be agreeable gray. Um, and then I painted over it. It didn't look good here. I, I love it in other people's houses, but I don't know if it's the lighting or what it is, but it just didn't look good in my bedroom. But anyway, this is accessible beige and I really like it. I think it's going to look good on my pantry door. Um, so come back next Sunday for that video. Don't want to miss it. It's going to be good. I'm gonna give her a treat, you won't it? Hey, come on. Yep, yep, there you go. Take one. Well, hi, Timmy. Hello there, friends. What you singing today? Today we're going to we're going to sing a song. It's a good habit to practice. Just a closer walk with thee. Just a Sound good? Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. <laughs> well, thank you for listening, friends. I want you to pay close attention to that song as you walk closer to Jesus. And if you don't know Jesus as your Savior, the Bible says today is the day of salvation. Don't put it off. He's been working on this song that he wrote a long, long time ago called Turn My World Again. And he's been struggling to remember the words and remember the the chords to it but it's getting better all the time but we're gonna have him play a little bit of it for you guys and then when he finally gets it all down then we'll play the whole thing
without you be it for this video i hope you've enjoyed it let me know what you think of my little diy project do you need a rolling pantry in your kitchen it might be something that could give you extra space so while this is a very narrow pantry you, you as you saw it holds a lot of stuff so and it takes up very little room there's so many ways you could tweak this project to make it something else like a bookshelf so don't be afraid to try to use some power tools i have so many projects that i want to do i want to be able to do them myself and not you know have to wait or expect somebody else to do them so i figured the only way i'm going to learn how to do it is just to get out there and try it it might not be perfect this shelf is definitely not perfect i can find you know i can point 10 different things out right now that i should have done differently but I learned from it and you can't expect your first projects to be perfect because you're, you may, you may be, but I'm not a carpenter. So, you know, got, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do, right? All the little imperfections, I really don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I like old things anyway. So things that are kind of not perfect and kind of roughed up just kind of goes with my aesthetic, right? <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.